What if I told you that you could land a job in PLC and DCS coding within a year, even without a formal engineering degree? Let me introduce you to Alex. He holds an MBA and was working as a supervisor, making $45,000 a year. After dedicating just six months to learning PLC and DCS coding through our mentorship program, he secured his first job as a junior automation engineer, boosting his salary to $75,000 a year. Now he's a senior automation engineer earning $95,000 a year. Welcome to IT and Automation Academy YouTube channel. Before we start this video, if you are new here and want to watch more content on PLC, DCS, and SCADA, consider subscribing. Turn your notification on if you don't want to miss our future content. Let's get back to topic. Alex's journey is impressive, and while not everyone can get a job that quickly, many people have transformed their careers through focused learning and dedication. In this video, I'll share a step-by-step -step system and actionable tips to help you break into PLC and DCS coding, even if you're starting from scratch. One of the biggest pitfalls beginners face is trying to learn too many things at once, like mastering multiple PLC programming languages or different DCS systems, just because they're popular. This scattershot approach doesn't work. These languages and systems have specific uses, and learning all of them at once won't prepare you effectively for any job. First, decide on your dream job. Do you want to work in manufacturing, automation, process control, or robotics? This decision will help you determine exactly what you need to learn, ensuring you don't waste time on irrelevant topics. Next, find a learning path tailored to your chosen field. For example, if you want to specialize in PLC programming for manufacturing, focus on learning specific PLC brands like Siemens, Allen Bradley, or Schneider Electric. If DCS is your goal, look into systems like Emerson's Delta or Honeywell's Experian. A quick search like PLC Programming Learning Path or DCS Learning Path will provide you with many roadmaps online that cover the essential topics. Many people make common mistakes that slow down their progress. One major mistake is watching random unconnected tutorials on YouTube which takes much longer to learn properly. Another mistake is enrolling in super long courses on platforms like Udemy and not finishing them, leading to a pile of unfinished courses and decreased motivation. Here's the right approach. Find a structured course that you can commit to and finish. There are plenty of excellent options out there. Choose an instructor whose teaching style resonates with you and dedicate yourself to completing each course. The AA also offer mentorship programs. You can reach us on WhatsApp number provided on screen for more details. But remember, simply watching videos isn't enough. Coding is about solving problems, so you need to practice constantly. That's what I love about coding. It's about developing analytical and problem-solving skills, not just memorizing facts. With practice, you'll naturally memorize what you need to know. The best way to practice is by building projects. Start small and gradually take on more complex projects. Post your projects on GitHub. It's like an online resume for developers. You can showcase your code to potential employers and get feedback from the community. Let's talk about interviews. Not preparing for coding interviews is a common mistake. You can be a great coder, but interviews are a different challenge. They often ask tricky questions about communication protocols and PLC and DCS, like how to connect with S7 PLC. These topics are not taught in engineering degree courses, so if you don't have skills, make sure to study them by enrolling in online mentorship programs or proper structured courses. Practicing these PLC, DCS small projects builds your problem-solving skills and makes you stand out in interviews. Use AI tools like ChatGPT to get project ideas. Once you're confident in your skills, start applying for jobs. Keep in mind you might need to apply to 100 jobs, hear back from 10 to 20, and get 5 interviews. This is normal. Don't take it personally and don't get discouraged. Persistence is key. Keep applying and connect with recruiters on LinkedIn and Twitter until you land your first job. Landing that first job can be the toughest part, but once you have real life experience, finding your next opportunity becomes much easier. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'm here to help. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more content on breaking into the world of PLC and DCS coding. That's all for today. If you like this video, consider subscribing, turns your notification on. Till next time, take care and bye.